I'm here with Usama Fayad, who is the CEO of Open Insights, as well as the Chief Data Officer at Yahoo and the Executive Chairman of Oasis 500. Oasis 500, a company that is funding startups in Jordan. Um, what I mostly wanted to talk about with you now is just the creation of Arabic content on the web. Um, you mentioned in your talk that it's, it's simply a, a market that needs to be tapped, and I want to delve into when you are looking to fund companies at Oasis 500, how important is it to you that they're creating Arabic content on the web? Why is that important? So, um, Oasis 500, we're, uh, the goal is to actually fund about 500 new startups in the next five years in the areas of ICT, information communication technology, digital media, and mobile applications. The latter two have to do with actually, and have been driven by the fact that we are really lacking in Arabic content on the internet. You hear all sorts of statistics about less than 1% of the content is in Arabic. Uh, mm -hmm. when you know it should be really more like 10 to 20 percent if it were you know reasonably represented um, the uh, um, the reason we created those tracks are basically to attract the kind of companies that will create that sort of content either directly or professionally produce it or indirectly by enabling uh, user generated content to have a platform um, so people can, for example, upload content, say, from their family records that matters to, to the rest. Mm -hmm. um, do interviews with you know, their parents or grandparents or uh, you know, show material that addresses you know, uh, aspects of our social lives, aspects of our culture, uh, what have you, to, to share it and document it and have it online. Uh, during the talk, in fact, I uh, talked about uh, one, one of the companies I'm invested in, D1G. Uh, D1G is um, uh, uh, launching a product called D1, and D1 is all about creating a whole community in a box where you say, look, I'd like to be able to stream videos, to have Q&A on my site, uh, to do um, a SWAT or uh, basically voice um, uh, clips, uh, to do things like uh, share information, have like a small social network, like a Facebook in a box. Um, you get those capabilities for free, and the reason I'm excited about it is rather than professionally generated content, which is important, and we need to grow it, by the way, there's a huge deficit in the Arab world in professionally generated content, mm. user-generated content can be larger by an order of 100 or 1,000 times, which means this gap of being only less than 1% of Arabic content on the internet needs to be closed, and needs to be closed fast, and one of the fastest way to do it is to enable users to put meaningful and compelling content uh, online. Uh, just to, uh, another statistic I, I shared in the talk is that when you, uh, uh, a study was done to ask people, are they comfortable in interacting, communicating, and browsing uh, the internet in English? Uh, of all, uh, you know, across the board, the Arab population, only 2% said they were comfortable with that. Which means for 98% of the Arab population, the internet essentially today is irrelevant, right? It doesn't exist, it has nothing to offer. And that's why it's important to close that gap. So there's a huge amount of content out there that could exponentially grow with the right platforms. Outside of developing platforms to create more Arabic content and create more user-generated content, are there any other niches on the web where you see that there is potential for innovation on the Arabic web? Um. Oh, the, the potential is huge. Look, e-commerce. E-commerce mm. is a $7 trillion industry in the world, right? In the Arab world, I've seen several estimates. The one I believe, it's under $100 million, right? That, that is ridiculous, right? Seven trillion is 7,000 billion, right? Mm -hmm. Seven million million uh, dollars. Uh, done worldwide. So um, e-commerce is a huge area. Uh, search, search, you know, you might think of Google, you might think of companies like that. Search is in its earliest stages. It's just beginning. Uh, these big companies, they do search in Arabic by doing string matching. So for example, um, you know, walad has no relation to awlad, which is the plural, right? Because in English it sort of works out and you only add an S. But in Arabic, you have to stem the word back to its origin and derive all the variations in order to match. 
uh, that technology is not applied, that simple technology is not even applied for, for Arabic content or Arabic audiences. So search is a huge opportunity online. Um, all sorts of applications, frankly, that I'm excited about that are more relevant to us, to our culture, to the things we like to do, right? To how we like to interact with our friends. You know, they, they differ, they're localized, and they, and, and they should have the Arabic flavor. So I think that's another area where it's a huge, huge opportunity to do new startups and, and uh, new companies. Amazing. So if I wanted to develop a search engine that based on, on STEMs, when, when can I next apply to Oasis 500? When's the next uh, round? Go to www.oasis500.com, mm. uh, submit your application, and we will uh, follow up with you. Um, so if the idea is right, uh, we're basically going through uh, waves of companies. Each wave consists of 33 companies or entrepreneurs. Uh, we're doing three of them in 2010. We're doing six of them in 2011. So that's 100 companies in 2010, 200 in 2011, and so forth. Uh, so the chance is open. The doors are open. Uh, we welcome you. We also welcome people who are interested in investing in our fund. And we welcome companies who might like their name or logo associated with such a wonderful thing as Oasis 500 to sponsor some of these training sessions, which we use as the entryway into the funding and incubation that we provide. Good, good. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you.